Once again, former President Trump has been indicted by the special counsel on four counts tied to his attempt to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election. Among the charges include conspiracy to defraud the United States and obstruction of, of an official proceeding. Our uh, coverage will continue on CBS News streaming your local news and tonight on the CBS Evening News. This has been a CBS News special report for all of us here in Washington. I'm John Dickerson. Hello, I'm Weijia Jiang in Washington. A federal grand jury has voted to indict former President Trump in the January 6th investigation. He faces four counts in the indictment, including conspiracy to defraud the United States. The former president has been summoned to the courthouse here in Washington on Thursday. There are at least six co-conspirators that are not named. Special counsel Jack Smith had this to say about the indictment. Good evening. Today, an indictment was unsealed, charging Donald J. Trump with conspiring to defraud the United States, conspiring to disenfranchise voters, and conspiring and attempting to obstruct an official proceeding. The indictment was issued by a grand jury of citizens here in the District of Columbia, and it sets forth the crimes charged in detail. I encourage everyone to read it in full. The attack on our nation's capital on January 6, 2021, was an unprecedented assault on the seat of American democracy. As described in the indictment, it was fueled by lies. Lies by the defendant targeted at obstructing a bedrock function of the U.S. government, the nation's process of collecting, counting, and certifying the results of the presidential election. The men and women of law enforcement who defended the U.S. Capitol on January 6th are heroes. They are patriots and they are the very best of us. They did not just defend a building or the people sheltering in it. They put their lives in the line to defend who we are as a country and as a people. They defended the very institutions and principles that define the United States. Since the attack on our Capitol, the Department of Justice has remained committed to ensuring accountability for those criminally responsible for what happened that day. This case is brought consistent with that commitment, and our investigation of other individuals continues. In this case, my office will seek a speedy trial so that our evidence can be tested in court and judged by a jury of citizens. In the meantime, I must emphasize that the indictment is only an allegation and that the defendant must be presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt in a court of law. I would like to thank the members of the Federal Bureau of Investigation who are working on this investigation with my office, as well as the many career prosecutors and law enforcement agents from around the country who have worked on previous January 6th investigations. These women and men are public servants of the very highest order, and it is a privilege to work alongside them. Thank you. Why didn't you charge any of the other questions? For more on this, Graham Cates and Jessica Levinson join us now. Graham is a CBS News investigative reporter, and Jessica is a CBS News legal contributor. Jessica, I want to start with you. I know that you've probably been leafing through these 45 pages along with the rest of us. Um, what did these counts tell you about the potential evidence uh, that Jack Smith has now collected against Donald Trump? It tells me that it's strong and that there